uh, in relation to ERP. So hopefully as I go through that, there, there are things from this which will be of, of interest and benefit to you. So uh, the agenda, um, very quickly, just to give you an overview of who Origin Enterprises are. We set out on our journey on, on ERP in 2008, so what was our drivers for change at that point in time? And how did that selection process evolve? And as I go through it, you'll see that a number of things changed in our business over that period of time, and our selection process had to adapt um, as a result. Uh, I'll give you a brief update as to where we are on the, on the project to date. Um, and I suppose we see our ERP as a journey rather than a destination. So this is very much a, a work in progress for us. And then the lessons that we've um, got from our, our experience to date. So Origin Enterprises, uh, we're a leading agri-services group, um, predominantly in the UK. We're an Irish headquartered business, but 80% of our business will be in the UK, uh, with interests in uh, operations in Poland, the Ukraine, and Norway as well. We're, uh, we're originally came from a business called the uh, Irish Agricultural Wholesale Society, which traces its roots back over 150 years, and as its name implies, is very much in the agricultural space, uh, both in terms of manufacturing components, particularly fertilizer for the agricultural market, uh, but also in terms of service um, and distribution and animal feed importation. Three main groupings today that we're involved in, I suppose represented by the three images there, Agricultural advice or agronomy services, predominantly in the UK, uh, uh, giving advice to farmers on the best use of things like uh, agrochemicals, uh, fertilizer, crop nutrition more generally, uh, use of seed uh, as well, and also advice around, I suppose, increasing legislation um, requirements and compliance requirements around food. We uh, have an interest in a food distribution business, uh, manufacturing and distribution, I should say, in, in terms of cereal milling um, and then ambient food distribution. And also a manufacturing business in, um, we own 50% of Europe's largest fish meal, fish oil uh, producer as well, which is headquartered in Norway. So uh, we're quite a diverse business really. Um, and in 2008, when we started on our ERP journey, uh, we had quite a number of, I suppose, different businesses within our two main business groupings, which is food, where we've got flour, cereal milling, and ambient food distribution, which represented about 19% of the business. And then our, what we call more generally our agri-nutrition division, which uh, encompass agronomy, on-farm on advisory services called agronomy services, direct farming in the Ukraine, where we actually um, have hectares that we farm ourselves. And then our, our sort of a more manufacturing businesses around the production of animal feed, the production of fertilizer, the produ um, advice in the amenity market, uh, which is um, things like golf clubs and councils and football clubs, and then um, the marine proteins, fish oil, fish meal business. Uh, our challenge was really to try and bring an ERP to this very mixed landscape, and in particular there was a couple of um, pain points in the business when it, when it came to ERP predominantly in the sort of the agri-inputs area, um, but also in the marine proteins and, and oils business. So our, our drivers for change in 2008 um, was firstly risk, um, and that was our, our primary driver in making a change. Systems that we had employed in those divisions were end of life. They had been in place, classic legacy systems, as, as the previous speaker noted. They'd been in place for, uh, some of them for nearly 30 years. Uh, sitting on VAX VMS platforms, very poor DR capability around them, uh, and also support represented a risk in that there was limited skills available around both the application and the, and the platform. Uh, the other area, I suppose, as a consequence of, of legacy applications was around productivity and process, whereby because we had these sort of independent islands of legacy applications, we had a lot of manual process and reconciliations poor visibility of stock mid-month, a lot of reliance on individuals who had been with the business a long time who knew how these systems operated. Um, and strategically, uh, Origin itself was founded in 2006. It was founded really to give those collection of businesses a new energy and access to capital. And um, we wanted to systemize our business model and make it scalable, not just in our existing markets, but in, in other markets in Europe as well. Um, I suppose. 
the key point of this slide is that we didn't see any financial payback from an ERP implementation. We were looking to replace the systems in businesses which were well run, well managed, uh, very lean operations, very low headcount, head um, and we were looking at a significant investment in new systems. Investment which frankly had been avoided for a long period of time. Um, so one of the challenges we had to face, uh, particularly you know, at, at CFO level, was to say, listen, we're going to spend this money, we won't see a return out of this, it just simply uh, won't occur. So we set about our selection process um, July 2008. Um, all told, within those business groupings I identified there, there were seven distinct businesses across the UK and Ireland. Our group runs very much on a, almost like a federated basis, so each business has its own managing director, its own finance director, sets its own business strategy loosely within the overall group strategy um, and goes and does its own thing. So businesses which look very similar on paper but operate in different markets with different customers have very different processes and wanted to maintain that level of independence. So bringing them together and uh, cajoling them really to, to come into this process as a single team was a challenge. Our scope was very much you know, classic ERP, finance, manufacturing, distribution, plus commodity trading as well. Um, at the time, um, this was a big component of our business in terms of importing global commodities. And you know, if any of you follow the commodities market, particularly in, in, in terms of like animal feed and wheat and grain prices, there's been a lot of volatility in recent years, so the, the management of that represented a, a, a big challenge for us. So we, we issued a detailed RFI, uh, I suppose went through a fairly standard process um, whereby we, you know, the team scored each of those on a, on a number of headings that you'll see there. Um, got those people, I suppose, um, as part of our evaluation. We went through a, a process of shortlisting demonstrations and presentations. We got the vendors then to visit our individual businesses off the shortlist to gain a, a greater understanding of our businesses so that they could then take that back into further presentations, scripted demonstrations, and um, and then also we went and met, I think all told we spoke with 11 different organizations using ERP today uh, who were references for the various vendors. Um, so it was quite a quite an elongated process, particularly with the number of businesses that we had in scope and, and their, their level of independence. Um, and we finally selected an ERP product um, and went forward with um, uh, uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX with Columbus and also selected a number of ancillary products um, that uh, fitted around that, particularly around commodity trading where the core ERP solution didn't provide out of the box what, what we needed. But by the time we got to the, sort of the end of that process um, and by the time we'd ultimately made that decision, a lot had changed along the way for us. Uh, firstly, uh, there was a rationalization of the business portfolio and two of the businesses, two of the seven businesses which were in scope originally were descoped because effectively we divested them. Um, strictly speaking, we moved them into joint venture structures. Um, but from a, from a project perspective, it was effectively a divestment.